This is Steve, and I'm here at the Allen County Public Library with Ruth Stone, who is the project manage, manager for the IPFW Sculpture with Purpose. And uh, we want to talk to her a little bit this morning and find out what's going on. W what is going on, Ruth? This is the 47th of our 50 sculptures that are being installed in commemoration of IPFW's 50th anniversary. And as you can see, this is a sculpture, very uh, creative, but it is also a bike rack with the three rings being the bike rack portion of the sculpture. Okay, and it, 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 what's the what's the purpose of this? The purpose of the 50 sculptures going in is to commemorate IPFW's 50th anniversary, and to we want when we started thinking about different things that we could do, we wanted to do something that took into consideration everything that's happening in Fort Wayne. So we looked at obviously our 70 plus miles of bike trails is fantastic, and then also there seems to be a real push for public art, and so we decided to combine the two and create sculptures with a purpose. They are art first, and then as a for their purpose, they have to at least have the capability of one bike being attached to them and these 50 sculptures will be scattered throughout the community we actually have 34 that are going in downtown actually they're almost all in downtown and then 12 are on our campus those have been installed and then four in on, at some corporate headquarters surrounding Fort Wayne and where did you find the 50 artists or are there 50 artists uh, how did that work we did a, had a national call for artist proposals and with that we got 160 submissions of designs from artists from nine different states. And then we had a selection committee that went through all of the designs to make sure that overall, as a package, all of them would be uh, cohesive and be an asset to the community and um, brought, would appeal to a broad range of people. And so those we went from 160 down to 60 designs. And then our 52 sponsors were able to look at the designs and actually pick one. And then once the artist, once the sponsor selected a design, we asked the artist to make a maquette, so a small model of the sculpture, so that we were very clear on what it would look like when it was finished. So the artists have gone through a bit of a process in order to be accepted. They weren't told yes to go ahead and start making it until after the model was approved. Um, and we were fortunate. We have 23 different artists from seven different states who participated, the furthest being um, one who lives in California, but she actually works in China. And so she came uh, here and, uh, or I'm sorry, she was working in China and had the piece actually made in China and hers is the bike rack runner. And it was shipped here from China in a container and got here and it's great. Okay, so so you're having these all installed uh, this today, I think, and, and you've got maybe one more that's left to be installed. but. Tell me a little bit about what that ties into tomorrow, the exciting event that's going on tomorrow. I will, yes. We have had, so far, um, as I said, we've installed 47 of them. The last four are being installed today. And then as we started thinking about how we were going to present the sculptures to the community, we talked to some other organizations, um, and every, people just kind of came together and said, you know, let's make a festival out of this Use, using IPFW Sculpture with Purpose and our 50th anniversary as the inaugural event you know as part of it but we've wrapped it with in the in the morning four for fitness will have their spring cycle and this is all going to start on the main street art campus so right in front of the arts united plaza or in the plaza and main street will be shut down uh, and then as part of fort for fitness they also have uh, the food trucks and a health focused expo area the while and i bar street market is opening is having their opening day tomorrow and then the downtown improvement district is doing their spring trolley and then the Arts United has arranged for all sorts of free art performances from the ballet to we have bagpipes coming, uh, some of the Sweetwater uh, music groups are going to be performing as well as I think there's a small group from the Philharmonic, a variety of activities. So, Oh, and then also um, there's a kickstart for kids, which is part of Fort for Fitness, where they have um, a couple of groups coming in to do some mo mountain biking demonstrations and there will be a family ride. Uh, on bikes and then um, lots of just you know encouraging kids to get out there and use their bikes so there's something for everybody downtown tomorrow so this is kind of the community part of the celebration are there more activities going on at IPFW that are going going to be going on throughout the year yes there are we will officially kick it off on campus in September when the students are back and we'll have events happening um, on a very regular basis actually from September until next May. Um, some of the highlights being they're doing uh, five, uh, five plays from musicals from the five different decades. Uh, there will be a book, commemorative book. We're burying a time capsule. 
Uh, in February, we're doing a neat thing where couples who have met at IPFW are being invited back uh, for a special celebration of their finding each other at IPFW. Uh, just a lot of really great activities happening on campus that the community will be invited to. Anything else you'd like to add, Ruth? Well, I'd like to um, also point out that since these with the Mastodon, we did the Mastodon Zen Parade for our 40th, and that was great because it was temporary and it was also small scale. So every kids' schools were able to decorate the Mastodons and really be involved. We tried to incorporate that into this project. Now, clearly, kids can't make sculptures that are going to be on the street. But what we did do was um, give Fame and the AWS Foundation recycled bicycles that they then turned into art. So the Fame bikes will be attached to the sculptures tomorrow on Saturday during Kickstart, so that they can so that you can visually see that, yes, this is a sculpture, but yes, you can park your bike onto it. Because so many of them are so beautiful, like this one, you would, I think people are going to hesitate to touch it and interact with it, but that's what we want. We want people to, to use it as a bike rack. And then the AWS Foundation had their clients decorate them and really found that this was a great opportunity for all people of all abilities and uh, whether they have a disability or not, whatever their issue is, they can still be involved in this community-wide event. And so their um, bike art turned out to be wonderful, far exceeding our expectations. And so those are actually going to be displayed at the Arts United Plaza tomorrow as well for Kickstart. And if you'd like more information, it's uh, visitfortwayne.com backslash kickstart for that. And then also you want to remember um, sculpturewithpurpose.com and our Facebook page is IPFW Sculpture with Purpose because on each sculpture there's a triangle and we're having a find the triangle contest that will run from tomorrow through July 6th and all you have to do is find the triangle on the sculpture and then post a picture of you pointing to the triangle as close as you can because some of them are up high uh, onto our Facebook page and we have $100 gift certificates that we'll be giving out one per sculpture based on those people who submit their pictures on Facebook. So join the fun. It'll be great. Excellent, excellent. Sounds like a very exciting thing here in Fort Wayne. Thank you. We are we are excited about it, and so far the response has been fantastic. All right. Well, we appreciate your time today, Ruth, and wish you well for the weekend. Thank